Hello and good Wednesday evening, everyone. Meteorologist Hutch Johnson joining you. Here's your tonight's stormy update and stormy weather continues from Montana tonight into the Dakotas the next two nights. That's for your 4th of July and into Saturday as well. I'll have details in this version of Hutch's weather. Oh, no. well, here we go. A Hutch's weather update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson brought to you by Robert Gibb and Sons. All right, heading into the evening, storms out to the west in Montana and right through the Rocky Mountain West, developing low pressure there. Out ahead of the low pressure, we have generally some flow from the south, lacing the air with that, you can feel it, humidity in the region. Temperatures as we head through our day-to-day -day hit that 90-degree mark for many, and it's on its way. Storms out to the west, by the way, in Montana, strong to severe as we go through. Now, as we take a look at your forecast here, let's look at that hour-by-hour -hour forecast detail. But first, here's a look at the risk area for tonight's storms being severe in Montana. Maybe one or two storms near the North Dakota border strong to severe tonight. Tomorrow's risk shifts to the east, as we'll see most of North Dakota in the level two risk. More on that in my video that you'll see up here. And then as we go into Friday, there's a risk for the valley and much of Minnesota for a severe weather risk. All modes of severe weather will be possible as we go through the weekend, so stay weather aware. Here's a look at your forecast for those storms tonight and into the next 24 to 48 hour period. Let's get started with a look at this. Now let's go back here to the most recent storm uh, update from this model that carries us into the late night hours. Notice some storms moving out of Plentywood into the oil patch Crosby area as we go into the overnight hours. It's around 3 to 5 in the morning, and then those fizzle out. Low pressure right here will make its way into North Dakota, and then storm fire in our western counties and they will move to the north and east throughout the day. Sizzling hot temperatures, storms in the afternoon firing at about four to six o'clock out west and it'll be later in the evening before they blow their way into the Red River Valley and this is closer to the morning hours there at about three in the morning. Again, the main risk in the late night hours, gusty straight line winds, but we could have isolated tornadoes in the early onset out to the west. That's where the risk will be greatest. Then heading into that Friday event, the main low pressure system moves right into our kitchen with an attending warm front here that will bring all modes of severe weather possible. So stay weather aware. Here's what you need to know as you start the morning tomorrow. Temperatures near 70 degrees, a muggy start. Light wind from the southeast. It will be fairly uh, uh, mild all across the board the coolest weather in the arrowhead of minnesota the heat is on anywhere you see the whites about 90 to 95 degrees we could be near triple digits in parts of the central dakotas ahead of the storms that will develop out to the west and move mainly into our northern counties on thursday with that severe weather threat into the late night hours i'll keep you posted on your fourth of july the heat is on 94 fargo and our chance of storms increases in the afternoon and moves quickly into minnesota as we go towards uh, fireworks time. So the timing will be afternoon and evening storms in the valley and eastern parts of the Dakotas with your fireworks displays possibly being interrupted in parts of Minnesota as the storms move east overnight. A little bit cooler on Saturday in the valley, storms still rumbling in central and eastern Minnesota with a little bit of relief from the big time heat for about two days, Sunday and Monday, before it returns. I'm meteorologist Hutch Johnson thanking each and every one of you for joining me on Hutch'sWeather.com. Remember to visit my site and keep my sponsors in mind like those at KAJ Hospitality with a number of properties right here in the FM area, not only for your family to stay when they're in town, but for you to enjoy their hospitality when it comes to, well, hosting your events. Give them a call today if you have a meeting or a wedding that you'd like to plan. They'd love to help you out. You can get in touch with them let them know hutch sent you but for now remember to follow my facebook page subscribe to me here on youtube and have a wonderful holiday weekend stay cool stay hydrated and stay weather away